Right, so we got some big news coming out of the UK. It looks like the European Commission is going to be forcing manufacturers to ship all small electronics with USB-C cables. Now, I don't want to get religious on this video, but it looks like my prayers have finally been answered and Apple is going to have to ship an iPhone with USB-C in the UK if this legislation passes. Now, I believe in my opinion, there's a 90% that this is actually going to pass and I'll tell you why. Number one is because this is being pushed as a sustainability play. Basically, they want to reduce e-waste and this is going to apply to a lot of different electronic products, not just iPhones. This is gonna to apply to smartphones, cameras, tablets, video games, headphones, and portable speakers. Basically, any small electronic product is gonna to have to have a USB-C cable. And this just makes sense. There's no reason why we should have more than one cable for all of our electronics. This is gonna cut down on e-waste, and that's pretty much the main reason why this is being passed in the UK, to prevent e-waste and have everything be homogenous and all work with one cable, which is something that I've been preaching for a long time. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I've always been harping on why Apple doesn't bring USB-C to their iPhones and finally they may be forced to because they're not going to make two different iPhones. Why would they make one iPhone for the UK and then one iPhone for the US? It just wouldn't make sense. That is something that I can honestly see Apple doing and I wouldn't put it past them and what they're going to say is that it's going to be a sustainability play. Basically, if all your electronics use USB-C, why would they have to give you a USB-C cable in the box? That's what they're gonna say. It's gonna be better for the environment. They're gonna save so many trees, blah, blah, blah. But I'm glad that somebody is actually gonna make this legislation and not make it optional because if you give manufacturers the options, you can see how Android does things. It's so fragmented and every manufacturer does whatever they wanna do. But when you make it legislation, they have to abide by the rules and they can't just choose to use a proprietary connector. It just wouldn't make sense. So as I'm reading this article, I'm reading a lot of facts that kind of blow my mind. So the European Commission did research on e-waste and basically they said that disposing of charged cables alone uh, per year accounts for 11,000 tons of e-waste. Just think about how insignificant a charging cable is and how much it weighs. It weighs not even half a pound, not even uh, a quarter of that and it accounts for 11,000 tons. And it also says that the average person has around three mobile chargers. And I can attest to that. I have at least five. And most of them are USB-C. And I use that for my MacBook. I use it for my lights. I use it for other cameras that I have. I use it for a lot of different things. So to see these stats, I can kind of see how that actually could be the case because everyone I know has more than one charger in their house or in their car or they leave one at work. It's kind of convenient to have more than one charger, to be honest. Um, do I think that this new legislation is going to cut down on e-waste? I think it will, but I do think that people are always going to have more than one charger. Just because they legislate everyone to use USB-C doesn't mean it's going to cut down on all e-waste. People are going to want more than one charger. Like I have one at work, one in my car, a few around the house. Pretty much every socket in my house has a charger in it just because of convenience and I buy a lot of Apple products. I buy a lot of products that come with chargers. So having those around the house is convenient. Do I need those? Do I need all those chargers? No, I don't, but it is convenient. And they talk about a lot of other stats. Um, they quote Apple saying that they want to be uh, carbon neutral by 2030. And that is something, like I said, when Apple removes the cables from the boxes, they're gonna say, hey, we're doing this because we wanna be carbon neutral by 2030. And they may tell you about the stat that, hey, you know, charging cables account for 11,000 tons of um, electric e-waste, which is still mind boggling. I can't believe that. But if Apple is forced to have USB-C on their iPhones, that is one of the features that is in my dream iPhone. And honestly, it would streamline everything because I wouldn't have to have lightning cables anymore. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this um, legislation that it has a 90% chance of being passed by the European Commission. I can already tell you that Apple is moving in that direction, even if this wasn't mandated in the future, it's gonna be on iPhones. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let me know how many chargers you have lying around. I'm curious to see how many things you guys have <laughs> lying around the house uh, when it comes to charging. And also click on this video right over here that I made and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.